All right, guys, just wanted to share with you um, my experience with uh, the overheating XJ issue. And it's very common. Uh, they're practically known for it. The original design of the Cherokee was for the 2.8 V6, not the 4 liter inline 6. So they engineered the size of the grill, the radiator, and everything accordingly. Um, there are things you can do to help mediate that problem. Um, the 97 to 01s were really bad because most, if not all, had California emissions and had the uh, catalytic converters in the manifold right beneath um, the intake manifold. So a lot of heat buildup. Well, I kept having all these, all these problems with overheating and it got really bad. Um, first warm day here, my wife was driving it and said, it's almost at the red, what's going on? I said, pull over. She opened the hood, let it vent some air. She said, the bottle where we put the coolant in is completely overflowing, it's full, and it's still coming out. So it sounded like a thermostat to me. So I changed the thermostat, no change. Um, posted in the forums about it. And all anyone could say is I had a cracked head. That was it. 9701 without the tuppy mark, uh, the 0331 casting number, you've got a cracked head. There's nothing else that it possibly can be. And it was person after person after person after person saying that, and I just was not convinced. In my Jeep, I've done some things I'll show you right quick to help mediate the overheating. I've added the Zergo 900 CFM uh, uh, fan, pusher fan. I have the B&M uh, trans cooler, and I've got hood vents. And I've also got the 10 blade S fan that's laying up there, wired to a switch so that I can turn it on um, whenever need be. So back to what I found out after pulling the pump is after looking at this impeller right here, it was not moving anything. I think there's one little blade that's left that's bent and that was it. And you compare that to this one, the new, this is an actual Mopar part. It's, it's not even the same sport. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is going to solve the problem, if not definitely help. Um, I'll let you guys know when I get it zipped back together here in a little while. And I wanted to share something else, and that is the thermostats. This one's from O'Reilly's. Said it was 195, said I did not need an air bleed valve, even though my factory service manual says I do. Um, he checked, double checked, nope, doesn't need one. This is an actual Mopar, well, Motorrad that's made, I guess, for, as who makes them for Mopar, part. And in addition to the bleed valve you see jiggling there, you can see the difference in size of the opening. It's tremendous. This one says high flow, it's supposed to move 60% more coolant. Um, it just shocks me that this was the spec part from O'Reilly's for our Cherokees, but uh, on one hand I'm really not surprised. Um, but anyway, I will uh, get to putting this back together and let you guys know how it goes uh, shortly.